gimmick name and then say your achievement. Okay. Um, I wrestle under the name Jonathan Cross. Uh, my real name is John Bloodworth. enjoying where I am and I'm here to make what I'm doing the best that it can possibly be. I hope that I'm inspiring some other people in this area to get better. Now to I know, right? Stuff. We all talk about <laughs> Brahms. I had the chicken strips, actually. I can remember the first instant that I saw wrestling. Like, I remember, like, I, I don't know how old I was, very young, and I, I just know, like, my cousin is, like, flipping through the channels, and uh, I, I see, you know, a dude in face paint, and I'm like, wait, what was that? Go back. I don't know if I thought it was the crow or what. It was Sting, obviously. And um, um, I was like, what is this? And she starts explaining it to me, like, this is wrestling, blah, blah, blah. And I started watching Nitro and stuff, and then it seems like a couple weeks later we were flipping around during commercials, and uh, she ended up on Raw, and it was uh, it was Stone Cold in the ring on the mic talking about who knows what. And I know there was a casket at ringside, and like the casket opens up and Mankind rolls out and beats the hell out of Stone Cold. And like from that moment, there was no more Sting, there was no more WCW. It was all about Stone Cold, and uh, I mean I had to see everything like if it's my friends like on a Sunday like hey man you want to go to the water park or something it's like yeah sure but at six o'clock I got Sunday night heat and I can't miss that so I mean I, I, I was hooked from that moment on outside of wrestling um, I, I manage a grocery store actually um, it's just something I got into a few years ago and um, I, I run a store in uh, Muskogee Oklahoma and uh, I mean puts food on the table. It allows me to go out on weekends and do my thing in the ring and stuff, so I'm pretty happy with it. I work for eight hours, go to the gym for two hours, maybe tan a little bit if it's a week of a show, and uh, go home and go to bed and do it all over again. American dream. Um, John Cross, uh, in my opinion, he is the best in Oklahoma. <laughs> Um, it's people that would disagree with me, but um, they're wrong. <laughs> and uh, I mean, I, I've wrestled against a lot of people, and uh, John is by far the best, the best talent around here. And that's, that's just <laughs> what it is. I may not agree with everything that John Cross says or does, but he's the best in Oklahoma. I defy anybody to step up and accept that challenge. You know, you need to travel to be able to make, it, make a name for yourself because in Oklahoma, I mean, it's, it's great. You know, it's great, great wrestlers, but it doesn't get a lot of the national attention that some of the other places get. So. Uh, I think John is a tremendous uh, asset to have in any company. I wish that he was more comfortable traveling to many places because I think that a lot of places around Oklahoma deserve to see just what type of quality he's able to put forward. I understand, um, like, I'm... I'm friends with John. Uh, he's got, he has a house. He's married. He's got two dogs. I completely understand not wanting to travel and everything like that. I don't travel anymore. Um, no. Why? Get really good in. I mean, okay. I mean, John, are you trying to make it? He did make it. You know. I think John is very good, um, and he's also been one of the more enjoyable people I've had to work with <clears throat> as far as, you know, manager and wrestler, that whole thing. Um, is he the best, what, like the best around right now? That's, that, uh, that's impossible for me to say because I don't, 
see much outside of this, this part of the state. In this part of the state, absolutely. But I don't get out to Oklahoma City too much. I don't get out to Lawton too much. So I can't really say that. But he is the best around here at the shows that I go to and that I perform on. And he's definitely one of the best that I've had to work with in the ring. Uh, it's always an easy night for me when I'm out there with John. It's an easy night. Wait, 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 wait. Are, are, what? Santa, what are you doing over there? Listen, listen, listen. All right, he's Santa Claus, it's Christmas, I get it. But you know what I'm about to do? I am about to brain buster this jabroni Claus. Listen, listen. This is not the real Santa Claus because if it was the real Santa Claus, he would have John Cross's favorite thing in the world, which is candy. It, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, Steve. Yeah, that's my favorite thing about WFC because to me it feels like like people from all different companies and states and whatnot they come in willingly to work for free to wrestle. Like to me, this is a great pool of like the best, you know, like to, in this in that this this area has to offer, and they're all working for free. They're working for the same amount, like all to give these kids charity or what. I'm sure they all have their own reasons, but like, man, I mean, how this place has grown and like how much money it makes for these kids now—it's awesome. Like, I, I can't believe how it was originally and how it is now. It's just growth exponentially is awesome. Definitely his character to me is what sets John uh, apart from a lot of people. Um, also, he physically looks like a wrestler. I really don't like candy canes, it's gross. <laughs> I do like this. Alright, Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas. The funny thing about it is, he would never say it, you know, because he, he, he doesn't, he's not like that, but uh, John, every time you're in a ring with people, in my opinion, the best wrestlers that you're in a ring with is the guys that you learn with, uh, learn from after you have a wrestling match uh, with them. I've learned something, and mo most of the times, uh, more than one thing from John every time, every single time I'm in the ring with him. And uh, that's that's the kind of level I want to get here in Oklahoma. I want to be the guy that's like John, man. I hate to say it, I ain't trying to be on this I did not mean to say that. Take that out. Like, in my opinion, he's number one. You know, he's he's got all the talent to do anything he wants to do in wrestling. He doesn't like traveling. He doesn't like, uh, you know, doing that kind of stuff. Like, he's, he's incredible. Uh, he's great to work. When he kicks you in the face, he kicks you in the face, but, but you know, there's nothing more fun than, to, than working John. Um, just fantastic, Fa a great human being, you know, inside, outside the ring. So, I would say that in Oklahoma, I've not wrestled anybody better. He's got a lot of poise. He's really good at remembering things, coming up with things that are um, outside the norm. So, you know, I'm I'm a very basic sort of person. Like, let's do A, B, C, then we're done. He's like, let's do A, then F, then we're gonna go to Q, then L. Um, and just coming up with a lot of innovative stuff that, to be honest, the fans in Oklahoma aren't going to see with any other matches. I mean, just straight up, if they're if they're not watching one of his matches, they're just not going to see that stuff. If they watch a match that I'm in that he's not, you're not going to see the same stuff, for sure. I think the biggest thing with everyone believing or 
saying that John Cross is the best is all about perspective. But when everyone has that same opinion, people who come in from different cities or we go to different cities, he puts on the show that everyone wants to see. No matter what match he's in, where on the card he is, he puts on a show that people want to come watch and they want to talk about. So I think that's where that perspective comes in for everyone is that he is the best because he puts on a show that people will talk about. And I think that's hard to do. And in this business and in this state and in this area, I think putting on a show that people forget about when there's so much content in the world is hard to do. And I think he's mastered that. You have to have bad guys in the wrestling, but one of one of the best things that his performance as a, as a wrestler is probably the brain buster that he does. Me and Ethan got over and the two black guys went and killed us. The two black guys, you don't know anybody's name. I'm such a friendly, inviting personality. We're just gonna party because we don't care. I think the biggest thing with a lot of people who travel or don't travel either way is about what you want. And I think John has figured out what he wants and that he, he wants to do what he enjoys. I don't think it really matters. If he's good at his craft, he's good at his craft. He can stay at home and be good at his craft if he wants to. You know, he, he needs to want to do it. You know, I think he could I think he could work Ring of Honor. I think he could work anywhere he wanted to if he, you know, went out and put the time into it to go make a name for himself. There's just something about him that you can't necessarily put your finger on. You watch wrestling documentaries or anything like that. It's always they talk about the it factor and that's something that John has and it's just something like none of us can put our finger on it and say exactly what it is, but we know when we see it and we'll all of us see it in John. I mean, if you're trying to make it, then yeah, you have to travel, you have to go everywhere. You want to do this for a living, but he's not trying to make it. He has no aspirations to go to the bigger places, so just be good where you're at. There are some great talent in this area, and guys that are way more motivated than me. Uh, guys like Mr. Nasty, uh, guys like Aaron Anders, um, Riker, if that Riker guy gets in the gym and busts his ass like he does in the ring, he's going to be awesome someday. He's so young, so big, and so creative and entertaining. Honestly, like, I, you know, like everyone does, like, I want a reaction. The last thing I want is for people to be, like, dead silent when I'm out there, whether they love me or hate me. All I hope is that, I mean, they just were entertained in some way or another. And on like a, on like a much more personal note, and like even if Tim wasn't sitting here, I would probably still say this. Like I said in a promo one day that right now WFC makes you know hundreds of dollars for kids, and then this time next year they're gonna be making thousands of dollars for kids. And one day when I'm long gone and half retired, and people are asking me for advice, WFC still gonna be going, and they're gonna be making tens of thousands of dollars for kids. So it it really does make me happy to know that. Uh, one day when people are like, where did WFC start? They can look back at the first couple of years and you can see me prominently as the first champion and stuff. So I'm, I'm, I'm really proud of that legacy, like what I've done specifically for this company and that belt and stuff. So, I mean, that's all I got, man. That's my selfish wants. I like those selfish wants, man. That's pretty cool. <laughs>